Do you have a fair question, Howie? Fair question, and I'm happy to sit down with you and discuss stuff going on and with your PR guy. Well, you no, he's not a PR guy, actually. He's not a PR guy. He actually on, covers things like fairly. This, well, wait, wait, this wait. guy over here in the hat, he apparently gets $100 Ben from Steve oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. May I ask you? Yes, yes. Let, let's let Howie ask a question. It sounded at, at the beginning like you said we've had a good run, and it sounded like there was no appeal, but then you talked about going to the Supreme Court. Is there going to be an appeal on this? There is going to be an appeal. And I, I'm not prepared right now to tell you exactly what our path is because we're looking at several paths. Not one, not two, several. But you've not seen the last of our case, and Brahm's going to have to cover it again, and I'm sure he'll twist it and spin it. But you haven't seen the last of it because we have the best case. We have evidence, unlike these gaslighting people in the media who want to make you say, like, there's no evidence, I can't help it if they're not smart enough to dig through and look at the evidence. But we've got plenty of evidence, and we're going to continue to pursue it. And our legal team will continue to pursue it. I guess my it. question is, I'm assuming you've read the, the judge's decision yesterday. Yeah. And I have, too. He said some of the evidence you presented is legally irrelevant. The number of seconds it takes to review signatures that your, it was your team that chose to, to pursue the course that said we were going to prove there was no signature verification. So it's, it's not a question of not evidence. The question is, what relevant evidence do you have? Uh, we have rele relevant evidence that 300,000 roughly ballots were approved in less than three seconds. It takes a full second for the ballot image to pop up on the screen. We had an incredible witness, or not a witness, I'm sorry, an expert, a, a world-renowned expert on this, who said it's, it's impossible to do that. And we also found out, how, and I don't think this has been in any of your reporting, that there were an additional 99 people authorized to do a voter signature verification behind closed doors, in their office, at home, sitting in their underwear on their sofa. <laughs> Stephen Richer and Bill Gates, who ran the election, and by the way, also ran a super PAC raising money to try to bring me down because they don't like America First candidates, who want to question corruption in our election, those two get to approve signatures behind closed doors where no one can see it. That's not transparency, Howie. But Do you think it's... Wasn't relevant. That's one person. Relevant. And as I said, the system is corrupt from top to bottom. That's one person. Do you... No, Howie, let me ask you a quick question. Do you think that just clicking like this, approve, 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 is signature verification? Do you think that? What I think is irrelevant, what the judge said, again, the six-page opinion, is I know what the judge said. I read it. Is, is that I'm asking you, do you think you can approve a signature like that? I think the judge even knows you can't. I think the judge that, even knows you can't. I think that perhaps that if you have two signatures that come up on the screen... The they don't come up, you have to scroll down. No, you scroll down for additional signatures. That's yep. the point. It's not possible. It's not possible, Howie. And we are showing this. We're showing it. We're proving it. The whole world is seeing what they're doing. And guess what? If they're doing it in Maricopa County, there's a really good chance they're doing it in a county near you.